Hi, in today's video, I'm going to do a glitter wine glass with studs. I'm going to do the name Drew on that open space that you're seeing there at the top. All right, so I first went in with the painter's tape to tape off the area that I wanted to, to glitter. And I'm going in with some Mod Podge to cover the area that I want to apply the glitter. Okay, so you want to work fast with Mud Podge because it dries pretty quickly and you don't want to have to go in um, to reapply while you're applying your glitter. It happens sometimes, but you really don't want to. Okay, the project that I'm working with today, I'm going to be using a royal blue and gold. This was a customer request, um, a nice gift and it's gonna come out so beautiful. You will see the finished products. I'm just gonna walk you through the steps. Please remember to subscribe so you're able to see other videos like this one, or I will be doing more crafting videos so you can do some DIYs at home, all right? So now I'm gonna apply my first layer of glitter, and it's a light layer, so what you will see is some areas may seem a little bit transparent, but that's the important part. You have to apply two layers to give you that beautiful finish. Okay, so you're working quickly because this Mud Podge, it will dry up quickly and you don't wanna have to go back in to apply another layer while you're putting on your glitter. All right, so I'm gonna apply the gold to the bottom because the initial idea I had was to do a gold to the bottom and blue to the top but while working these things happen I thought about it and I was thinking hmm maybe I should do gold and glitter blend yes and as I said the mud pudge dries quickly so here we are applying a little bit more mud pudge just to make sure I'm able to apply a good layer of glitter the first time around all right so I typically leave this for two hours Give it some time to dry before I apply my second layer of Mud Podge and then some more glitter, okay? All right, so here we go. All right, so two hours later and this is dried, I'm going to apply another layer of Mud Podge, not too heavy, a uh, light layer of Mod Podge um, right around the entire glass. And I'm trying to work quickly so that I'm able to go in and apply my Mod Podge without having to reapply while I'm glittering. So I allow the, the painter's tape to stay on for this, this layer but I will be removing it after I apply the glitter on this second round, all right? A, what I did was to mix the blue and gold glitter in a cup because I didn't want to, you know, waste all my blue glitter. And just in case I didn't, <laughs> I didn't like it when it was mixed, I didn't use all of it, um, but this is looking good so far. All right, so you want to quickly go ahead and apply the, the Mud Podge to the entire area where I did the first layer of glitter all around it. All right, great. So here we are. We're going to go in with the, the glitter that I pre-mixed and I'm just going to give it a nice shake all around just to cover those areas. Um, not dabbing it, but I'm just lightly sprinkling all over the Mud Podge that I applied. And I'm using a paper plate to catch some of this. So we'll catch all of it so I can just pour it back in the cup and reuse it to cover the areas that I haven't applied to as yet. Okay, once this is finished, I will leave it for two hours to dry 
um, before I apply my first layer of Mod Podge to seal the glitter on the glass. All right. And I typically use two layers of Mod Podge at the end to seal it. Um, so it's a nicer finish. Okay, so what we're doing now is removing the painter's tape and I'm going to clean it up a bit with a Q-tip and a little alcohol. All right. So I'm just going to go around the areas where I had the tape and ensure that there are no residues um, of glue. This will allow your project to be nice and clean. All right. So we'll just leave this to dry for two hours and we will go in with a layer of Mod Podge to seal it. All right, so this is two hours later and we're gonna apply the Mod Podge to it and allow it to dry for another two hours and then I'll apply another layer of Mod Podge um, to create an extra layer of seal, okay? Please remember to share your comments. Let me know if there is um, another sealant that I could be using um, for this project. I don't know, you know, persons have tried and tested other sealers out there and I would love to hear about it so I could try on my other projects. I find it easier to work with Mud Podge. Um, it's not too messy. It's not toxic. Um, it's easier to clean up. And I think in general, it just gives my glass a nice finish. Um, but if there's another one that you guys think I could be working with, what would be nicer, you know, please recommend. I'm open to those suggestions. And if there is a project that you would like to see me do, please leave a comment below and I will definitely give it a try if I haven't already done so. Okay. All right, so we're almost finished with this first layer of sealer. And I'm just going to go in with a little bit more Mod Podge. I was running low. Um, just to make sure that I'm covering all the areas properly. Okay. All right, looks good. All right, so the next step that I will do is to apply my studs and the studs I will definitely be writing the name Drew and I will also apply studs right around this area of the glass um, to give it a nice pop okay so we'll leave this to dry for two hours and I will show you just a section of how I applied the the name Drew to the glass so you get the idea all right, so I use the painter's tape as a guide to make sure that I am putting the name on straight and it's not crooked when I'm finished. I'm going in with the E6000 glue. Um, I find it's better to work with than like a super glue. It gives it a nice finish. I'm also using a bamboo stick to uh, draw the, the letters and then I go in to add the studs to it after. I find it easier to work this way than applying the studs to the, applying the glue to the studs and then putting it on the glass. All right, I'm not gonna keep you for the entire process of adding the letters because it was a lengthy process, but I will come back and show you the finished product. If you would like to see me do the entire step for applying the letters, please let me know. All right, here we are, 
and we have Drew. And I'm also going to show you the studs applied around the entire glitter area. All right, here we are. This is the final, final product. And please let me know what you think. If you would like to see more of these videos, remember to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and most definitely check out my next video at the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching today.